Hello everyone, this is Nate from Photodex, and today I'm going to show you how to use ProShow's built-in image editing tools to give your slides a vintage or retro look, similar to the effects made by today's popular camera apps. In this lesson, I'll be using ProShow Producer, but everything you'll see works exactly the same in ProShow Gold. Down in the slide list, I have a few sample images. What I have here are before and after versions of each image. The first is the original, and the second is the version I edited to give it that retro camera app look. Believe it or not, these types of effects are very easy to make. Let's move over to a new show, and let's take a look at how it's done. I already have an image ready to go, so let's double click on a slide to open the slide options window. To create those camera app looks, we'll be using the options found under the adjustments pane. The first key option that you'll want to adjust is the sharpen value. Let's go ahead and slide that all the way over to the right. This will give my picture the graininess that is common for that retro style look. The next key option to change is the contrast. Let's move the slider to the right. You'll notice that the colors in my picture are becoming oversaturated. In this case, increasing the contrast by 20% gives me the look I'm going for. By adjusting the sharpen and contrast values, I'm already pretty close to creating a camera app-like effect. In some cases, you may not need to change anything else, but for this picture, I want to make a few more small adjustments. Let's darken the image by dropping the brightness. That looks good. Now I'm going to adjust the white point and black point a little to the left as well. When adjusting these settings, there really is no right or wrong. Just play with it and go with what looks best to you. And lastly, let's tweak the colors. As you move the hue slider, you'll notice the color shifts dramatically. I'm going to move this almost all the way over to the right. And that looks great, but as an example of just how far you can edit your images, let's try just a few more things. Go ahead and close this window and let's copy and paste the first slide so that I have two different camera app edits in my new show. Now, let's open the slide options for slide number two. Over in the editing tools pane, let's colorize the layer. Press the set key button and choose a color that looks good to you. Now since I've colorized the image, the contrast and hue values will create a very different look than what we saw before. Let's go ahead and set the contrast all the way to the right to 100, and then drop the hue down to somewhere around 40. And now for the final touch. Let's go ahead and add a border image that will give our slide a more grungy retro look. Press OK to close the slide options window. And over in the folder list, look for the Media Sources folder. Now locate either ProShow Producer or ProShow Gold 5.0 built-in content. Here you'll find a subfolder labeled Borders, which has a perfect image for the effect we're making. If you don't see the Borders folder, don't worry, it's easy to get and it's totally free. Simply go to the top of your screen and click on the Tools menu, and then select Download Extras. From the window of available free extras, choose borders and then press the install selected button. Now, from the border folder, choose border standard or border widescreen and while holding down control on your keyboard, drag and drop it onto slide number two. To make sure everything lines up nicely, double click to open the slide options. And with the border selected, click on the preview and then use your mouse scroll to scroll up or down to resize your border as needed to properly fit your image. Now let's press OK to get a better look and see what we've made. And that looks pretty cool. Keep in mind that each layer in your show is unique, so you may need to adjust the values differently than what we did in this example. The best values are often found through trial and error, so have some fun with it and play around with your sliders. And as you can see, it only takes a few clicks to get that vintage, retro, or toy camera feel. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.